So I'm a biology student, right? I am not a coder. Um, so I went to Hack the North, which is my first hackathon. My first hackathon experience was in McHacks 2014. I was a little bit reluctant to go, and I was super tired once I got there. And so I went there and no, really knowing nothing. But there were a bunch of you know really awesome workshops where they just taught you how to code from scratch. But the moment I arrived, it was phenomenal. 24 hours of coding in a room with hundreds of other people is just amazing. Instead of playing video games all weekend, I actually had the opportunity to make one. I, I made this Pebble app where you could measure the acceleration um, along the Y coordinates, which is super exciting, but not really. So the idea for Hack Western came about when Ruth Artur and I were sitting in some building on the University of Michigan campus for MHAC's board. And we turned to each other and asked ourselves, how cool would it be if we could bring something like this to Western? One of the things we tried to focus on this year at Hack Western was to make the, the hackathon accessible to anyone, everyone. So whether you're a coder or not. Uh, one of the things we did was we had a series of workshops called Zero to Hero, where we taught people how to do web development and iOS development. So we taught people who knew nothing about coding and we made them into full stack developers. To me, hackathons are more than just a bunch of people programming on their computers all weekend. It's a weekend where all you have to do is make something cool. There's no risk if you fail, and there's tons of resources. For you. Why should you come to Hack Western? Well, you get to meet tons of new people, get to eat lots of food, drink lots of Red Bull, and create an awesome hack in 36 hours. So, why the hell not? Hack Western is going to be Western's first hackathon, and we'll be setting the foundation for future hackathons at Western. Now it's your part to participate and turn your ideas into a reality. Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn.